and welcome back to FM22 with Old Man Phil and one of the quick tip series that we sometimes run. I've been visiting um, some Facebooks recent, Facebook groups recently and I have come across some, um, some perhaps we could call beginners at the game, uh, wondering why um, they're winning um, very comfortably and then suddenly in the second half there's this big turnaround and they, they end up losing or, or they're scoring um, so... Well, they're not scoring, but they're creating so many chances and they can't score. Um, or maybe they're leaking goals at the back against a particular team um, time and time again. It might be just one team or they're leaking goals all the time and they can't understand why this is happening um, and we're going to use this game that I had um, the opening game of the current season of my Newport save which you can follow link in the description below and um, we're going to use this game to demonstrate how if you make a couple of little changes um, when things don't seem to be going right then it can um, change actually the way the game is um, going to pan out. Now we're using this, um, it's a new system we started this year, this season, um, st same shape but we've gone a lot more positive, it's a 4132 and we're a lot more positive this year um, and um, we play a much more intensive game. We've always played narrow and we're not going to change that um, and um, it works for us um, we have two very, very fast forwards who are able to get behind the defenders and score goals. Um, we, and we have central uh, midfield on attacking who also can score a lot of goals. So we pass into space, very, very important, but we don't give them much more instructions because they're not smart enough to handle it. Um, we will play out of the defense. It's slow coming out at the back, and then suddenly we direct these balls in a... In a um, very quick way from back to front. We don't want to waste time passing the ball around. It's just very, we're not the best passing team, so very um, direct. So we use a slightly more direct style and um, we use a uh, slightly higher tempo to move the ball from f uh, back to front. And in transition, um, we do. Um, counter press. It's a very intensive system. Um, it does cause tiredness but we're working hard with them on endurance. Um, we distribute quickly, we counter attack, distribute quickly and because we play out of the back we distribute to the back line. And um, out of possession um, We've changed things up a little bit. We, we've started using a much higher line. It seemed to work in pre-season and a um, higher defensive line. I didn't know much about um, Reading except that they like to um, play a lot of through balls. Um, they scored a lot from through balls. Um, so I decided to use tighter marking. We want to cut out, stop giving the um, attacker space in that area um, so we decided to force the opposition outside to play fairly narrow so they went outside we, based on lack of information basically so if we uh, look at how things worked out um, in the game um, then we can see the game gave us clues when it wasn't going well it gave us a lot of clues and we had one straight away and uh, Duhaney played a ball over the top and it was easily collected by the goalkeeper. I didn't see it, I didn't notice anything at the time, but if you look at the line of engagement, by the time that McNeil gets anywhere near the ball, the goalkeeper's already collected it. Now, the goalkeeper's anticipation um, and command of his area looks very, very good. And then they scored. And all I noticed about this was that uh, when I watched the replay is they had these three players playing pretty little passes outside on the corner of my penalty area. And then they scored quite easily. I put this down just to pretty poor defensive work um, at the end of the day. And then later on this happened when East, um, normally quite reliable, he just gave the ball away. And there are there's acres of space um, in that corner 
and um, they look to exploit that flank and I notice when I'm looking at the replay there are those three again pretty little passes and a little cross then into the near post and we're two nil down and we need to I know now at this point at 25 minutes something is not right and then another little clue I get if I with this higher line of engagement the kind of ball that we will play, the kind of through ball coming up. Um, and once again, before he can get there, the goalkeeper has collected it. So at this point, I decided to make a little change to the um, line of engagement. I needed to create more space. I didn't want to re make too much of a change. It would confuse the players. So we just lowered it from higher to standard. Just a tiny little change. Probably means a couple of meters, a couple of yards. Um, but it might make all the difference without upsetting what we're doing too much. And then this happened. My fullback gets called out to a try and to try and intercept a ball, leaving a huge amount of space behind him. And I can see his position is very narrow. He does his best to get back. He can't. There's a cross into the box, and it's only a great save by Rogers that um, stops that. Now I know we need to do something, um, and. Before I could actually do anything, the computer gives me another warning. And I fired a cross in, and it's headed over the bar. And so we'd got to half time, and at half time, I just decided, right, we need to do something about it. We'd done the line of engagement to try and get us more space in attack, but I had to stop them playing the ball all those pretty little things down the flanks and so I decided to spread the line out so that the fullbacks were wider we'd force them inside and stop them going down the flanks and and at the beginning of the second half the computer said to me well done you well read and showed me um, as they tried to go down the flanks again there's three of my men in a line stopping that happening and then they tried again and they play that little pass out and my fullback is already there in position waiting so what they do they switch it over to the other flank can we do it at the other flank no they can't because this line is more spread out my fullbacks in position that's a good sign and then this happens in the 61st minute we win the ball in midfield and Sweeney plays it out to Swanson. And now as he plays the ball, you can see that the line of engagement is now a yard or two deeper. Now what that will do when Abraham crosses the ball in is there's enough space for McNeil to get to the ball first. It ricochets off the goalkeeper and Lakin puts it into the back of the net. And then on the in the 81st minute, we win the ball back again. The line of engagement again is much lower than it was in the first half. And as the ball's fed through, there is space for Abraham and he puts it away in the back of the net. 2-2. Two, two, and we could have even won it. And again, look at how low the line is. Now, when this is headed on, there's a huge amount of space for Abraham to run into. And he should have put that away. So, just a few tips if you are a beginner or you're struggling to understand how to read the game while you're watching it, then remember the computer, computer game will give you clues. It's not going to punish you, it wants you to win, but it wants you to work hard. And the more clues that you allow yourself to get, the easier the game is going to be to read. So, if you're only playing in key highlights, then you're not going to get many clues. You're going to have to react very, very quickly to what you see. But if you're playing in extended highlights, you're going to see a lot more clues before the computer punishes you. And um, you're, if you're incomprehensive, you're going to get to see as many clues as as you're likely to see um, and you you will have too much more time to react so if you're a beginner I recommend that you work in um, extended or comprehensive um, highlights the game the season will take longer to complete but you'll get to learn how to read what the program is doing 
Um, and there are four things that you need to um, focus on. And you need to focus on just four things while you're a beginner. Your lines of engagement. Do you need to push them up, pull them back? Think about how you score goals. Is there the space there um, to score goals? And think about then width, um, as I did in that little preview game there. Um, do I need to increase my width? or to decrease my width. And you, the same goes for attack. If it's congested in the middle, try just altering the width a little bit. Don't alter a great deal because the players will struggle um, to come to grips with huge changes. Just take your time, make sure what you're seeing is correct, and then all, make very small changes so that it doesn't um, upset the flow of what your players are trying to do. Focus on passing and tempo. If the game is too fast for you, your team, then try slowing it down. Try um, reducing the um, um, the tempo of the game. And, and to if you're going to do that, then probably you're going to need to reduce the um, the, the passing directness as well. Um, although you can just alter the tempo but again make it small changes don't change the, the entire thing um, altogether because your team will not be able to cope with it so all in all it the the computer will give you clues um, and um, if you seem to be getting a lot of chances from set pieces then then just click um, play for set pieces um, and hopefully that will solve your problem. It won't always work um, <laughs> and uh, sometimes you'll make wrong decisions but that goes for managers in real life um, but uh, I would say seven times out of ten if you make small adjustments based on what you're seeing you can actually change the course of the game during during the game based on what you see. I hope this helps everybody um, and um, if you, you'd like a tutorial on anything just let me know in the comments and um, we'll see what I can do. And um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to follow my save, link in the description below and I'll see all you guys in the next episode of that save. And uh, all that remains to be said now, see you soon.